The Tbilisi Metro Georgian, Tbilisi's Metropoliteni is a rapid transit system in Tbilisi, Georgia. Opened on of January 1966, it was the fourth metro system in the former Soviet Union. Like other ex-Soviet metros, most of the stations are very deep and vividly decorated. The Tbilisi Metro comprises two lines, 27.3 km miles in total length, serving 23 stations. In 2012, the metro transported 93.9 million passengers, a significant increase on the 85.6 million passengers served in 2011. In 2013, the metro transported 96.26 million passengers. The ridership increased to 105 million in 2016. The metro is operated by the Tbilisi Transport Company, which began operation the same year as the Tbilisi Metro, in 1966. Topic <laughs> Network. Current lines. Topic <laughs> <laughs> Timeline. Topic Operation As of 2018, the system consists of two lines, serving 23 stations, operating on 27.3 kilometers (17.0 miles) of route and 62.5 kilometers (38.8 miles) of track. Of the 23 stations, 21 stations are below ground and two are surface level. Of the subterranean stations, 17 are deep level and four shallow. The former comprise six pylon stations, five column and six single vaults built to the Leningrad technology. The shallow stations consist of three pillar trispans and one single vault Kharkiv technology. Due to Tbilisi's uneven landscape, the metro, particularly the akhmeteli varkadili line, has one surface level section. An estimated total of 105.6 million people used the metro annually as at 2005, though the actual figure by 2012 was closer to 94 million. Carrying them are a fleet of 170 Soviet-built rail cars, consisting of the 81-717-714 and EZH3 models, which operate from two depots. Station platforms are built to accommodate five carriage trains, though four and three car trains respectively operate on Line 1 and Line 2. Trains run from a little before 6 a.m. exact times vary depending on the station until midnight, with intervals ranging between two and a half minutes at peak times to 12 minutes later in the night. Train speeds are 60 to 90 km per hour, while the average trip speed is slightly over 33 km per hour. Topic. Fares The Tbilisi Metro uses a flat fare system of 50 tetri per journey. Tokens are no longer used, and riders must purchase for 2 lari a Metromoney card a stored value card available at metro stations, onto which they can add fares. The card allows riders to re-enter the system for 90 minutes upon leaving it at no charge. History Tbilisi officially known as Tiflis until 1936, capital of Georgia, was considered historically to be one of the most important cities of the Soviet Union, particularly in view of its political position as being the most significant city in the Caucasus and the capital of the Transcaucasian Socialist Federative Soviet Republic which lasted until 1936. The city grew quite rapidly during the 19th and 20th centuries, and apart from being a cultural and political center, it was also an important transport hub in Transcaucasia and an industrial center as well. All this contributed to the need for a rapid transit metro system. Construction began in 1952. Tbilisi was the one of the only cities of the former USSR where the construction of the metro system started before the resident population exceeded 1 million. A population over one million was one of the main criteria for building a metro system in Soviet cities. On the 11th of January 1966, the Tbilisi Metro was opened. It was the first and only metro system in Georgia and the fourth one in the former Soviet Union after Moscow, St. Petersburg, and Kiev, when the first six stations were opened. Since then, the system has steadily grown to a two-line, 23-station network. 
During the 1990s, most of the Soviet-era station names were changed, although financial difficulties after the breakup of the Soviet Union hit the metro particularly hard in its infrastructure, operations, and extensions. In the early mid-1990s the Tbilisi metro was usually not working due to the lack of electricity. Until recently, the metro had been underfunded and operated in severe difficulties due to poor electrical supply. It had also become infamous for widespread petty crime, like pickpocketing and mugging. In addition, there have been several incidents at metro stations in recent years. On October 9, 1997, a former policeman blew himself up at Didub station. On 14 February 2000, a teenager threw a homemade hand grenade into a metro station, injuring several people. In March 2004, several people were poisoned by an unidentified gas while using the metro. However, the crime has reduced as a result of security and administration reforms in the system from 2004 to 2005. Other services have also significantly improved. Currently, the Tbilisi metro system is undergoing a major rehabilitation effort, including the reconstruction of the stations as well as modernization of trains and other facilities. The city's 2006 budget allocated 16 million lari for this project. Former President of Georgia Mikhail Saakashvili promised to make the metro a most prestigious public transport system, and charged Director General of Tbilisi Metro, Zarab Kikalishvili, in late 2005, to bring the metro up to European standards by 2007. In subsequent years, however, the upgrade process has slowed significantly, and as of July 2010, the Tbilisi Metro Rail was still far from its target standard. In January 2012 construction was scheduled to start on a frozen extension of the Sabortalo line from the Vaja Pishavela station to the new Sokhelmsipo Universiteti State University station, of which 80% of the work was completed during the Soviet era. Financed by the Asian Development Bank, construction was restarted in July 2015 and the station is scheduled to open in September 2017. The station was finally opened to the public on 16 October 2017. Future The system had also an advanced extension plan, with a third line, amongst other locations, encompass the district of Vake. Forming a typical Soviet triangle with three lines six radii layout intersecting in the city center. However, most of the construction sites remain frozen, some dating to Soviet times. There are also plans to return a tram network in Tbilisi. See also List of Tbilisi metro stations List of metro systems <laughs>